Hey everyone! So I absolutely love the Christmas season and love to do as many Christmas related things in December as possible. So I thought it would be fun to put together a video of some of the things that we're going to do in Chicago to celebrate Christmas. So it's not technically garden related, but we will be going to the Botanic Gardens today for the Lightscape, which is basically a really big light show and you walk through a path and it's probably like I don't know, a 30 minute walk just around the garden and seeing all these beautiful lights. So that's kind of kicking off all of the Christmas celebrations that we like to do in Chicago. There's a bunch of stuff to do and a lot of the things I did growing up. So my hometown is just like an hour away drive, an hour and a half train ride. We would take the train in, we would see the Christmas trees at Millennium Park in Marshall Field, which is now Macy's. We'd go to this Museum of Science and Industry and see the Christmas tree display there. So there's a lot of memories tied back to my childhood. So I just absolutely love this time of year in Chicago, despite the freezing weather like it is today. I think we're in like the teens or 20s right now, which means since we're gonna be walking around, I have like two pairs of pants, two layers of shirts, a big jacket that I'm gonna wear over the top, but you kind of get used to it after a while of living here. So yeah, I thought I would make this kind of a vlog of all of the different things that we're going to do. So right now it's December, December 3rd? Yes, December 3rd. Like I said, this is kind of kicking everything off. Um, we also might do two other things today. So we have the Lightscape, which we're going to, I think, around five. And then, so that's in Glencoe, Illinois. It's not technically in Chicago, even though it's called the Chicago Botanic Gardens. Um, but also in that same suburb, or either the suburb right next door, is the house from home alone. So we like to drive by there around Christmas time. If you drive by like during the summer or something, nothing's really happening over there. You can just see it and it looks cool. But at Christmas time, they do have like a security guard and there's always a line of cars just wanting to take a photo of it. Um, and they do decorate it for Christmas. So I appreciate that whoever lives there now um, kind of leans into everyone wanting to see the house on Christmas. We're also near um, the house from Ferris Bueller's Day Off, but that's not Christmas related, so we don't usually stop by for that. So, Lightscape, potentially the Home Alone house, and then I think there is a drive through light show up in the suburbs, so that is the plan potentially for today, and I just thought it'd be fun to share that um, with everyone. And then other things that I think we're gonna do, that we kind of do on a regular basis, is there's a Christmas afternoon tea downtown at the Drake Hotel, which is always really fun. Um, I think we're gonna try to go to the Museum of Science and Industry this year, because it's been a few years since we've gone. I know we're gonna see The Christmas Carol, which will be my first time ever seeing that as a play downtown Chicago, so I'm excited about that. And there's other things like seeing the Millennium Park tree. Um, what else is there? Oh, there's the Chris Kindle Mart in Wrigleyville, and there's one downtown. So anyway, I thought I would share all this with you. Um, if you've, one, never been to Chicago and haven't experienced any of these things, or maybe you have, and I just wanted to share them with you again. So we will get started today. I'm heading up to Glencoe for Lightscape.
So I am back with another Christmas activity that we're going to be doing today. But first, I wanted to show off the things that I got at the Lightscape at the Chicago Botanic Garden. So I have this necklace, which I basically saw a bunch of people wearing and then really wanted one myself, so I got one. Let me see if I can turn this on. It does keep falling apart, like at the latch. Um, so I don't know if they're the most, you know, well-made items. Where's the button here? There we go. Can you see that? I think you can see that it's lit up. And then also this hat that lights up. Yeah, I think you can see that. So I came home from that day very festive. Um, so today, let's not waste all the batteries so I can use these for the other Christmas events. So today what we're doing is going to the Chris Kindle Market, which has become an annual tradition. I know in Chicago it is for a bunch of people or people just coming in to visit Chicago each year. Um, but basically it's just a Christmas market. So I might get some of these facts wrong, but the first one that I ever went to or that I ever knew of in Chicago is downtown. Um, and I probably went to that one maybe five years in a row, but it's so packed all the time. Like it's almost not even an enjoyable experience, although I did still have fun, but you're, I mean, people lined up shoulder to shoulder, kind of trying to maneuver through the crowd. Lines are super long, all of that. It's probably better if you go more off peak hours, but we'd always try to go in the evening, usually on a weekend, but it's pretty crowded down there. It's also in an area that is a bit smaller, so having all those people in a smaller space obviously makes it more crowded. Um, but a few years ago, I don't know how many, I feel like it's just been a couple. It's probably been like 10 because time flies by. I don't think it's been 10 years. Um, but they opened up a second location in Wrigley. Uh, so right on like the stadium or right outside the stadium, which is really cool. And there's a bit more space there. So we've been there now. I think this will be our third year. It definitely feels much more open than the one does downtown. It's closer to us. And it just has an overall just nicer feel that you're not, you know, shoulder to shoulder with everyone in a crowded area. So um, that's what we're doing today. To get to, like into the market, it's free. You just walk right in. But what they're doing differently this year at Wrigleyville, so they used to have, typically what they'll have is like little gift shops. Um, we always go and try to get an ornament every year for the tree. So that is on my list for today. Hot chocolate, mulled wine, um, other little like cute Christmas gifts, a lot of really good food. Um, and that you can just kind of walk in for free and then obviously buy the stuff at the different stands. They also have an ice skating rink, but what they're doing this year is moving the ice skating rink inside of the stadium. They never had anything inside of the stadium before. And I think there's also like rides and stuff. I don't know how much it's geared towards kids versus adults, um, but we'll kind of see. So I think we're going to pay the $5 each to actually go inside. Even if it is geared mostly towards kids, I think it'll still be fun just to be inside of the stadium, like actually on the field um, in the middle of winter. So I am looking forward to that. So that is the plan for today. Chris Kindle Mart, we usually don't spend a ton of time there. I'd say maybe we're there for like 30 minutes. Um, we'll be there a little bit longer now going inside. So it's not like an event that kind of takes a big part of the day. So we're gonna head over there in just a few hours. I'm excited to see how it all looks this year. And then hopefully I find an ornament and I will update you on that a little bit later if I do. This ornament right here is the one that we got from the Chris Kindle Mart. I absolutely love it. I think it might be my most favorite ornament we've ever gotten there. So it's just, I think it's blown glass and it has this little crystal hanging off the bottom. Just absolutely beautiful. Also, the inside was really cool. I think it's worth the money. It was definitely more geared towards children than adults, but we still had fun. Um, I would not, however, recommend having a very delicious 
very rich Belgian hot chocolate and then immediately going on a tilt a whirl um, because I was a little nauseous by the end of the ride. Um, but it was really fun. So yeah, definitely if you're in town, I would check out the Chris Kindle Mart. Um, again, this is the one up in Wrigleyville. And then I think next on our Christmas agenda is going to see a Christmas Carol, but that's not until next week. So today is a, another day for a fun Christmas activity. And I'm really excited because this is an activity I've never done before. And we are going downtown to the Goodman Theater and we're gonna see a Christmas Carol. Now, obviously I'm very familiar with the story. I've seen all the movies, especially love the Muppet one. We watched that one already this year. Um, and I've also seen the play done by like my small hometown theater, or maybe it was the high school at the time, but I've definitely seen it before as a play, but I've never seen like a professional version of it downtown Chicago. So I'm really excited. And we are gonna get dinner um, nearby beforehand. I think we might also, so the show's not until 7.30, I think dinner's at like five or 5.30, um, but we're heading down a bit earlier because we're gonna try to see the tree in Millennium Park because I haven't seen that yet. Um, we're gonna look at the tree in Macy's, which when I was growing up was Marshall Fields. Um, there's a restaurant in there called the Walnut Room. I don't think we're gonna eat there because it's always incredibly hard to get a reservation. In fact, I don't know if they take reservations. I think you just show up and wait in a line and they give you a buzzer and then you eat whenever they call your buzzer. So we're not gonna do all that, but we can still go and look at the tree. Um, I feel like there was something else. Oh, the window's outside too. So. I don't know if they do this every year because I feel like there was a few years that they didn't, but um, usually they'll have like the windows decorated around Macy's as well with like some Christmas story in them. So really excited. I obviously won't be able to show like much of like the actual play because you can't record the play and I'd much rather just be paying attention to it. Um, but I'll kind of take clips here and there, uh, especially of the tree downtown in Millennium Park. So yeah, let's go ahead and we'll head out. just under 10 days away from Christmas. And today we have another Christmas activity in Chicago. We are heading down to the Museum of Science and Industry because they always do a Christmas tree display from like Christmas trees around the world. I don't know how long they've been doing it, but I used to go as a child. So again, it's one of those things that's really fun to do, you know, now as a 36 year old that I used to do as like a six year old. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. I think other than that, we're just gonna like grab dinner downtown, but I don't think we're doing anything else kind of Christmassy today. And kind of thinking ahead, I think there's only really one more like Christmas activity before actual Christmas. So yeah, I will share the Museum of Science and Industry with you right now.
today is our final kind of Chicago related Christmas activity. We are officially in the week of Christmas. Although since Christmas is on a Sunday, I don't know if it's technically the week of Christmas, but that's what I'm counting it as anyway. So we are doing something we do every year, which is go down to the Drake Hotel for afternoon tea. They have afternoon tea at the restaurant inside called the Palm Court and they have it throughout the entire year, but I think starting in November, probably after Thanksgiving through the end of December is Christmas specific tea. So like the, um, the little candies on it are decorated for Christmas. Uh, they have carolers, so I'm excited about that. Um, but we've done this the past three or four years. And then we also try to go and do afternoon tea again near my birthday, um, which is in May. So we go like twice a year and it's really fun. Um, there are a bunch of different places to get afternoon tea in Chicago. We've done a few. Um, some of my friends and family have gone to other places and I think based on everything I've heard, the Drake, the Palm Court at the Drake Hotel is the best in terms of like the ambiance, the quality of the food and the price. So if you are looking for afternoon tea, I recommend the Palm Court at the Drake Hotel. But yeah, this is our last Christmas activity before like actual Christmas next weekend and going home to be with family. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to share this with you, kind of wrap up this vlog. I think this vlog is gonna be posted the Wednesday before Christmas. I'm not gonna have a video on uh, Monday the 26th, like I usually have on Mondays because I'll still be with my family, but then it'll start up again the following Wednesday. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed kind of seeing all the Christmas things that you can do in Chicago. Um, let me know if you have done any of these things or if you haven't but want to, but it's just really fun to be able to do, again, the same stuff that I was doing as a kid, kind of taking the train into Chicago that I can do now as an adult. So let's go ahead and head down to the Drake Hotel. So we are home now, the tea was delicious. It always seems like it's not that much food because they're so tiny and bite-sized, but then you eat it all and you are very full and almost feel like you might need to take a nap. But it was really great. I really do love going there every year for Christmas. And I hope that you've enjoyed seeing some of the Christmas related things that we do in Chicago. We don't do everything every year. We kind of mix and match different things throughout the season. But this one I feel like has been maybe the most that we've ever done in a month. So yeah, that's the last kind of activity we have until we head home to celebrate. So I hope you have a wonderful Christmas if you celebrate um, and then a happy new year, but you will see videos from me before the new year as well. So yeah, I hope everyone has a fantastic holiday and I will see you soon. Bye.